Hello to everyone in the world of TED, TEDx, or anything with the word TED in front of it. Um, specifically, our audience in Yerevan, Armenia, watching this right now. Uh, glad to be with you today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I wanted to talk about a particular topic that's been of interest to me in the last few years. That idea is that of holographic touring. Holographic performance is, is one where the, the, there are images of the artists on stage projected on a full three-dimensional theater on a stage and to a point where they look like they're right there in front of you but in reality those artists are somewhere else taping. Uh, the technology has been used by such companies as Cisco uh, to do something that they call telepresence which is kind of like teleconferencing but in person two people walking on stage through you know from different countries and physically seeing each other and being able to interact and have a meeting. Um, it's been used by the Gorillas and Madonna for a performance. It's been used by uh, the Prince of Wales in, for a speech that he gave out of the country. The technology is definitely there. Um, it's uh, a matter of utilizing it for a live performance, uh, which, which has not been done to my knowledge. Um, Pre-taping is okay as well, obviously. You're, you'll be able to do this and show a performance of three-dimensional images and people to an audience but doing it live would be interesting because you can interact with that audience the the reason to do something like this besides the technology geeko aspect of it is the carbon footprint aspect um, doing something like this would reduce our carbons dramatically no, think of not having to take planes no buses no trains and a very scaled down crew recording a performance of an artist at their best with a video screen in front of them seeing the audience in front of them and the audience seeing the artist in three-dimensional full format on stage and interacting with that artist in real in real time without delay i think it's an amazing thing um, people that have uh, questioned this before and said well it's never the same if the artist is not there, you, you can't touch them and feel them and stuff and people obviously don't realize that 90% of the time fans don't touch and feel the people on stage anyway unless they jump into the audience and in that case that's not going to happen. Um, but, uh, but it also brings about the idea of uh, what is presence? Is presence just our physical presence? I mean I've been at many shows where because of a problem or something like that, I'm not, I'm physically there, but my mind's not there, and obviously that's felt in the performance. On the other hand, if I was to project a show into an audience that I could see on a giant screen, feel where I am, literally be able to project myself, not just physically and visually, but also psychically and spiritually into where I'm actually playing and feel that audience and see their energy and interact with them, then that intention and my is is my presence my presence would be there with them not not you know not just my visuals so it kind of that works as well for me the spiritual barriers is, is, is it would be broken and and I'd be able to actually see them there uh, this would not replace physical touring or physical performance in, in any way but because there's already a, a decline in uh, touring income and, and touring the touring business in general um, Sub subsequently following the decline in the recording industry uh, business um, it's something that can be used to uh, generate a new interest in fans to come um, this could also be a great way of cutting down ticket prices based on our you know changes in economic uh, based on the economic downturn that we've been experiencing ticket prices have been coming down and, and you know this is a great way of cutting costs um, the way to do it would be to put in the system once and for all and be able to utilize it for multiple shows thereby uh, utilizing the economies of scale uh, and saving money for a promoter or a group of promoters using it at a particular venue so this is something that I really believe in until we can come up with uh, the materialization dematerialization machine as in Star Trek I think this could be a really cool way of playing shows that you may not play in, in, in any other way you know there's artists that only tour in the summer because they have kids and they want to travel with their kids on holiday time. You know, this is something that they can do in the winter when they're still, uh, you know, a few blocks from their house at a studio. Um, I think this technology is actually going to take off. 
I think it's going to be relevant, and I think it's it's a great way of of putting something new in 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 front of us and utilizing technology to make us think uh, of of what we're interacting with, what is presence, um, and um, I hope to be you know one of the artists that does this, and I hope to be able to introduce this to other artists that may be interested in in doing holographic touring. I'm Serge Tankian. Thanks for having me with you.